In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Mini Modules project. And uh, the Mini Modules project is a project where you will um, be co uh, creating a, an object out of a small multiple. Okay, so it's like a small module. And um, so you're going to create uh, all the modules, and then you're going to, um, after the firing, you're going to uh, assemble either with uh, string or glue or wire or some other mechanism for adhering the forms together. You're going to assemble them into a, um, you know, another object. So um, this project, uh, you're going to create a single object using at least 50, or I'm sorry, 75 small modular shapes. Um, you may need to use far more than 75 to create the work, and uh, you might need 500 or even more. Um, so a module is a repeatable form that you combine to make something larger. Um, you will make the modules with clay in the wet stage. Uh, we are going to provide the clay for you um, in, a, in a handful of different colors. So um, Then you're going to fire the individual parts, and I will walk you through how we're going to do that. Um, then we're gonna, uh, you are going to assemble the object after the firing to create a unique form. The assembly must connect the modules into one complete form using wire, string, epoxy, fishing line, or anything else that binds the modules together. They must be bound together though. They can't be um, just suspended in the air or hanging on the wall or something. You have to use something to uh, actually combine them into one single object. And so keep in mind, this is a quote mini module project. So each module must be uh, less than two inches. Uh, so keep in mind that since you need at least 75 at a minimum, a two inch module would actually be really, you know, quite large if you, if you think about kind of magnifying that out at 75. So, um, so think small for your modules and see how you can build them into a larger, more complicated shape. The goal is to create a complex and unique form with a small, simple form that repeats. Um, the modules can vary in, by length, color, and thickness, but should be the, ba the same basic form. So for example, if your module is a small, hollow tube of clay, then all of your units or your modules should also be hollow tubes of clay, even if they are different lengths or, or thicknesses. So I'm going to kind of walk you through some artist, uh, professional artists that work in this vein. And um, near the end, I'll talk to you about a, a particular artist that I've kind of um, formulated this project around. So um, Blake Williams is a really amazing artist at uh, Michigan State University. And in this work, she is... Um, very much uh, along the lines of, of this project. So she's creating a module here, these sort of tooth-like shapes, and um, and then tying them together with what looks to be uh, some sort of black wire. Um, and uh, Shea Bishop is an artist that makes uh, these um, uh, clothing with ceramic, uh, small ceramic tiles. And um, it looks like they're, uh, they're sewn together with some sort of wire or um, you know, strong string or something. And, um, and so this is kind of the meshing of, you know, kind of an industrial tile approach and a, um, you know, uh, fashion and clothing and fabric. And he, um, you know, models these, at, you know, so that you can kind of see what they would look like on a human. So, um, and, you know, in this one, it's a little, might be a little hard to tell in the detail there, but they look like they are um, kind of tied together with a, um, a wire that probably holds it somewhat rigid, but is slightly flexible. So um, Stanton Hunter is a, um, an artist in California, I believe. And uh, in this work, he is um, using a module of a coil of clay. And um, so these are assembled um, most likely after the firing, it looks like, with some sort of dyed epoxy. Um, and so we're going to provide some resources for you in terms of, of learning how to stain epoxy if that's the route you'd like to take. Um, also, our resident artist, um, currently uh, Sydney Eworth, um, works kind of in this vein too. And so uh, these are, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of images of her work. And um, so she's using, um, this is epoxy that has been uh, stained with colorant. 
And the ceramic module is the kind of chartreuse looking um, kind of coils of clay there. And so um, this is another example here. So again, we're going to provide um, some demonstration videos for you to learn how to stain epoxy. And so in this work, she is using the epoxy and the connection points as a decorative feature uh, or as a really important feature in the work. And so that's another way that you can approach this. You don't have to feel like you need to hide the connection points. You know, in this work, Sydney is very much um, accentuating, um, you know, the, the connection points there. Um, this is also, this type of working is also in my own wheelhouse. And so I'm going to show you a couple of images of my own work. And um, so these are uh, assembled uh, after the firing. So the module here is an extruded um, rectangle of clay of different lengths and so the module itself is very simple um, it's just a repeated um, you know kind of two or not two but a, a an extrusion of clay um, but then I combine them to create you know a much more complicated object and here's another example of that so um, and this is again very much within the line of the uh, project you are going to be assembling your work after the firing so um, so just kind of remember that when you're, um, when you're uh, kind of thinking about your projects. It does actually give you a, um, a different set of opportunities than you might have with, um, you know, if you're working kind of in a more traditional manner with clay. Um, Mandy Saloff is um, another great artist that uh, works a lot of times with multiples. And here she's using um, clay that is stained in a range of different tones of the same pigment. And it creates this really beautiful kind of fade, um, gives you kind of the sense of like, um, you know, I know she's influenced by uh, by time and and the different colors of the sky as it as the sun is setting and that type of thing. So, um, so this is another great example of a of a similar way, and this is a a, a different way of of connecting the forms too. And uh, Casey Whittier is really the artist that this project is kind of centered around. So I'm going to show you several of her works. Uh, this is a backpack, a replica of her own backpack that is made with all ceramic uh, material. So in here, she's using a coil that she is looping around and connecting um, little at the wet stage, actually. So this particular work is a little different than the project, but... Um, but these next pieces here are very much within line of what I, how I want you to think about this project. So um, in this work, she is using a module that is hollow, and so the, the, the forms can be sewn together. Um, here's another example of a bouquet of flowers or a replica of a bouquet of flowers. Um, so again, the module changes slightly, so there's different lengths and, uh, and different colors. But the, the, the basic form is the same. So the basic form of like a small tube of clay is the same. And so here you can see not only the complexity um, you know, of those modules, there's probably a thousand uh, pieces in this, in this one piece. Um, but you can also see that she is um, leaving the, the element of, the, of what looks to be some sort of really thin line, uh, thin string or wire or like a fishing line or something and she's leaving um you know part of that out there for you to see so um so again it's sort of like sydney is accentuating the work with the color of the epoxy you know don't don't be afraid to show some of the process of the building of it so if that's part of the work um and here again this is a a, a similar um type of thing where you can kind of see the process of the you know like literally how the modules are constructed so this is a um, a mug and um, this is a really cool flower that happens to be in my own house and Casey gave this um, to um, to us when my daughter was born and um, so this sits uh, this is on the wall in my daughter's nursery actually <laughs> um, and uh, so I just uh, you know I it was really when I saw this piece when she sent it to me. That I really started to kind of conceptualize the project. So, so this is another good example of, um, you know, this idea of like constructing complicated objects with a simple module. 
Um, there is a really great video on YouTube of her um, talking about her work, but she also kind of walks through some of the process of how she conceptualizes and puts these objects together. And so you might have seen this in class if, if you were there when I showed it, um, but if not, uh, definitely take a look at this video. Um, it's part of the Art Access Conversations event from 2018. Um, so it's a couple years old, but it's really uh, a great video, um, and it's just um, it's only about seven minutes long. Um, but she really walks you through a lot of like how she thinks about her work. Um, so I highly recommend that. So just to review um, in the mini modules project. So for this project, you're going to create a single object using at least 75 small modular shapes. Okay, so you can be way more than that, but I do. I want you to have at a minimum 75. Okay, so um, and then you're going to make the modules out of clay in the wet stage. We're going to fire them. We're not going to use any glaze. All the color is going to come from the clay color. So everybody is going to be uh, working without glaze in, um, with this project. So that's important. So you're going to need to think about um, kind of how color relates to your your project and that type of thing. Um, then after the firing, you're going to be able to come to school and pick up the objects, the all your uh, modules, um, and then you're going to um, assemble them um, after the firing to create a unique form. And so the assembly must connect the modules into one complete form. And so that's really important here because I want you to challenge yourself to create you know, one single uh, form out of um, all these different parts, okay? So again, this is a mini module project. So remember, um, all the parts need to be less than two inches. And I uh, would guess that for a lot of you, they might be less than one inch even. So keep in mind that since you need 75 at a minimum, a two inch module would actually be quite on the large side. Okay, so think small about this because the complexity um, you, you know that you know even if the piece isn't even if the modules are small the piece could actually be fairly good size um, but the the complexity of the form will come from the repetition of the module over and over okay so just remember that the modules can vary slightly um, by length color thickness etc um, but they should be the basic form okay the same basic form so for example your module uh, if your module is a hollow tube of clay, all of your units or modules must also be hollow tubes of clay, okay? So even if they are different lengths or thicknesses, okay? So um, so I think that's it. Uh, there is the, there's a project page for this on Clay Bucket, and um, I'm excited to see your sketches. So if you have any questions, please let me know.